Does Tai Chi work in a real fight? I bet you didn't know Tai Chi's true potential. The words often evoke images of serene parks, flowing movements and elderly practitioners seeking improved health and tranquility. While this is one facet of Tai Chi, it only reveals half the picture. Tai Chi is not just a gentle exercise for the elderly. Beneath the graceful exterior lies a sophisticated martial art, centuries old, steeped in combat effectiveness. It is a discipline that has been honed and perfected over generations. To understand Tai Chi's true potential, we must journey beyond its modern association with health and delve into its martial roots. This journey takes us back to ancient China, where Tai Chi was developed as a means of self-defense. Tai Chi Chuan, its full name, translates to Supreme Ultimate Fist. This name is a testament to its power and effectiveness in combat. This name is no accident, hinting at its original purpose as a fighting art. Tai Chi was designed to be a comprehensive system of self-defense. The flowing movements, so beneficial for health, were originally designed for combat. Each movement is a carefully crafted technique meant to neutralize an opponent. Each posture, every shift of weight holds a martial application. The slow, deliberate movements are not just for show, they are practical techniques for real-world self-defense. The slow, deliberate practice we see today was once a method to ingrain these techniques, building muscle memory and sensitivity to an opponent's movements. Practitioners would spend years perfecting their form to ensure they could react instinctively in combat. Tai Chi's journey from battlefield to park is a testament to its adaptability. Over time, its health benefits became more widely recognized, leading to its modern-day practice as a form of gentle exercise. The very principles that make it a powerful martial art also lend themselves to health and well-being. The focus on balance, control, and mindfulness benefits both the body and the mind. But let's be clear, beneath the surface of gentle exercise lies a warrior's art waiting to be awakened. Tai Chi is a discipline that offers both physical and mental strength, a true testament to its enduring legacy. At the heart of Tai Chi's martial effectiveness lies a deep understanding of balance and body mechanics. This ancient practice is not just about slow, graceful movements, it's a profound study of how the body can achieve harmony and stability. These are not just abstract concepts, they are the foundation upon which effective techniques are built. Every movement in Tai Chi is designed to enhance balance and optimize body mechanics, ensuring that the practitioner can move with both grace and power. Imagine a Tai Chi practitioner in their stance. Their feet are firmly planted on the ground, their body aligned perfectly, their weight is centered, their posture relaxed yet alert. This alignment is crucial for maintaining balance and allows for fluid movement. This is not simply about looking graceful, it is about creating a stable base, difficult to uproot. The practitioner's connection to the ground is what gives them their strength and stability. A skilled practitioner can maintain their balance even under pressure, making them harder to push, pull, or throw off balance. This resilience is a result of their deep understanding of body mechanics. Beyond just standing still, Tai Chi utilizes efficient body mechanics in every movement. Each step, turn, and shift is executed with precision, ensuring that the body remains balanced and centered. Instead of relying solely on muscular strength, practitioners learn to move from their center, generating power from the ground up. This method of movement is both efficient and powerful. This allows for surprising force to be delivered through seemingly effortless movements. The power generated is not just physical, but also comes from a deep internal focus. By mastering these principles, a Tai Chi practitioner becomes like a willow tree in a storm. They are flexible and adaptable, able to withstand external forces without losing their balance. They bend and sway with the force, never rigidly resisting, yet always returning to their center, ready to counter. This ability to remain centered and balanced, no matter the external conditions, is what makes Tai Chi such a powerful martial art. One of the most fascinating aspects of Tai Chi is its emphasis on using an opponent's energy against them. This ancient martial art form teaches practitioners to harness and redirect the force of their adversaries. This concept, often referred to as neutralizing or redirecting force, is central to its fighting style. It allows a practitioner to turn an opponent's strength into a weakness. Instead of meeting force with force, Tai Chi practitioners aim to sense and understand the incoming energy. They train to feel the direction and intensity of the attack. They might yield slightly, redirecting the attack off target, or even pull their opponent off balance, creating an opening for a counter. 
this subtle redirection can be the key to gaining the upper hand. This principle is not about brute strength, it's about sensitivity and timing. The ability to sense the right moment to act is crucial. By learning to listen to their opponent's movements, a Tai Chi practitioner can effectively use minimal force to achieve maximum impact. This requires a deep understanding of body mechanics and energy flow. Imagine trying to push a revolving door. The door's movement can be likened to an opponent's force. If you push directly against its rotation, you'll meet strong resistance. This is similar to confronting an opponent's force head-on. But if you move with the rotation, even slightly, you can easily pass through. This illustrates the Tai Chi principle of moving with the opponent's energy. This is the essence of utilizing an opponent's energy in Tai Chi. By blending with the force rather than opposing it, practitioners can turn the tables in their favor.